Let's get our scene set and we can. <laughs> Let's get our scene set and then we can go straight into it. So right yeah. now, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I just said okay. Okay. That's yeah. That sounds like okay. Okay. So right now, most of you, I believe, or if not all, are currently part of the People's Freedom Element of Adrastus. It's a small rebellious group that it used to be much larger. It used to be part of like a group that almost swept an entire stellar arm from this empire. So. Oh, that's good. Okay. That almost swept a stellar arm out of the empire. They've been driven back quite heavily, though. They used to control four systems. Now they're only able to contest this one. At the moment, a recent disaster broke down the comm networks of the Rebellion. Fortunately, due to the Rebellion setup, they're only dividing down into a couple cells that have been trying to function independently. Right now, though, what they're trying to do is reconnect and try to gain enough concentrated concentration to strike back and retake the planet. Your job, specifically right now, as a light scouting group with the freedom element is they need you to make a run across a dangerous area on the surface to find one of the other cells and give them command codes. The problem is the cell appears to have moved recently and they're not in the old um, rebellion headquarters base that we were trying to reconnect with. There you've moved somewhere in the nearby area. So that's what it is. Okay. Um, I'd like gonna... to... Could I roll, like, a uh, culture criminal? Wait, would it be culture criminal to find out? Like, it'd be kind of searching for it the same way, right? Like shady yeah. places? Yeah, like yeah, searching yeah. for, like, shady places and stuff, like, where the heck they could hide the rebellion. Uh, can, I, can I roll tactics, actually, to, like, see where they would, like, tactically need to fall back? Yeah. I'll, ass I'll assist ideas. them in that because, like, I'm assuming we're driving together talking about this. Yeah, I would assume we're all in, we're all in my my car. I've I've redesigned it. I've given it a better uh, picture. But um, yeah, yeah I can help. Yeah. I can do tactics. So uh, assist me. Yeah. Currently, assist. all of you guys are coming into the. I forget beginning. if I have to roll to or assist. But. Yeah, this is an area that's been largely depopulated because of all the conflict. But it is widely known that there are um, imp Imperial sensors that have been stationed here, along with mm -hmm. some of their new equipment. Do we have anything that would be illegal, according to the Imperium? You'd, you'd be rebels. Yeah, you'd we are rebels. rebels. We are illegal in the very <laughs> strict sense. You also have a giant Anish? machine gun mounted on top of your Mad Max-styled uh, car. So That's true. Um, wait, so does oh, he yeah, assist me? Right. Does, does he assist me? I don't know if I have to roll to assist. That's what I want. Oh, I kind of you forget. do need to roll to assist. It's um, normally an easy check, though. All right. You got an eight. Okay. So does that count? Yeah, that's that's an assist. All right. All right. So I'm rolling. I'm one. rolling my tactics. You get to roll it up. Hey. I did. Did you include the assist there? Yep, with one assist. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Um. Yeah. Let's say. Let's say you, you got to check out the... Yeah, you got to look at some battle like maps Like, we're looking recently. at some maps as we're driving. Yeah, and maybe you've gotten your hands on some... a bit of extra information that a few others don't know about. You know that the um, Imperial sweep times are coming through from the northern sector. So they start at the top and work their way down. If the rebel group was going to be hiding out in this area, it would probably be somewhere close to the northern edge where they could detect the rebel search teams and batten down the hatches and get hidden before the search actually started. So, okay. All right. Yeah. So we're, um, we're, we're, heading, we're heading north. Um, yeah. You've entered from the southeast of this war zone. It's, it's not like symmetrical, but for the purposes, we're going to assume it's just a big block area. Could I roll so, culture? Could I roll culture criminal to find out like where in the northern area, like of the town, there would be like a kind of shady area that 
maybe would be big enough to hold their their uh, uh thing. Yeah, give me a I can give you something along those lines for culture criminal, but it might not be exactly that. Go for it. What would be a better culture for it then? Culture criminal is pretty much the exact thing. Alright. It's just hard to determine the exact location since you just outright I think I know the nice. exact location. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you don't know the exact location, but you do know something almost as good. About uh, 19 miles to the east of you guys, there's a small, like, kind of ramshackle town that's formed. It's it's pretty heavily involved with criminal elements as well as the rebellion, but they're not loyal. There mm-hmm. used to be a um, data hub. It w- used to be Imperial, then it became Rebel. Now it's it pr- it's probably in the hands of some of the people in the, this town. While you guys, while the rebellion held it, they did use it to store a lot of information. And if this other rebel group changed locations, they probably left some markers inside this data hub as to where they went. If you go to this town, 19 miles to the east, you'll be able to check to see if the rebels left any uh, notes there. All right. Uh, I I think uh, I like passing on this info. Yeah, I think I'm like I'm like looking right. I'm like looking up straight because like we're heading north as we're driving. And um, yeah. And I'm saying, all right, so we have the option we can, all right, guys, so we can, he, like, claps, and he, like, you know, rubs his hands together. He's like, that way to information, and he puts straight, that way to adventure. And he, like, turns to the back, you guys in the back, just like, all right, which, which way do you guys want to go? I'm just saying that we should probably go see if we can find out their exact location from their previous base, buddy. All right, and then I, uh, anyone else have anything to say? Information is the right choice. All right. Uh, I turn right, and I start heading kind of back more east instead of... I don't know. We're kind of already in the east, so it should be close. Uh, And then I want to see if I can try to, like... Can I roll stealth to be, like, a stealthy road to get there? Yeah, make a try at that. Um, Yeah. Can you help me with stealth? It's not dex, though. Um. Intelligence? All right. Yeah. Could I help him with that? Because I have stealth at one, actually. Yeah, you can do that. Or someone would it, would it be? Would it be wisdom? Want to. Oh, wait, or would he assault? Or would he assist me in navigating to a uh, driver uh, makes the another road? Check, and then someone who's uh, navigating could assist in giving him a All good right. route. Yeah, I All also right. have um, navigation. I have yeah. navigation myself. So, so it's intelligence. It's not wisdom. Wait. Well, so do yeah. I, Marley. But what I'm saying is. Just yeah. like driver, can driver can make though. a stealth off of intelligence, and someone can assist either with Whoa. stealth as well. Could he assist me, and I'm navigating. Driver well, makes your, the check. Who who is all right? Okay. I I have to make the check. I have a zero, so can right, someone then I assist. Me? All right, uh, I assist. I guess. Uh, okay. Also, you guys should probably read chat as well, just to make sure, because sometimes it relates to you guys, oh. not me. Yeah, I'm always reading it. Yep, I mean, uh, did, I was just does, that, does that count? Does that Lucas, count? Like me and that's um, an ass- yeah, I'm that's sorry, I'm still getting name recognition down. Null is me. That's okay. So that's the assist then. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I I get a one and I'm rolling. Mm-hmm. Got an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Two times in a row that happens. That's, that's four. Nice that's score. four eights. That's four eights. We're get we're doing great, guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, you find a, um, there's an old shopping complex on this planet. They didn't like building above ground a lot of the time. One of the reasons why the rebel have hung on so long here, the shopping complex, it looked like it had an escape road built into it. The road was normally locked down and like sealed off in case of emergencies with all the conflict going, the automated sensors on it got triggered a while ago. You, like, maybe you're hiding there from a patrol as it sweeps through when you notice this. You can follow this road up a good eight miles of just going straight underground with no obstructions, as far as you can tell. Um, I'd like to make sure that there's not going to be any, like, some weird-ass fucking train or some shit going to come at us as we go down this tunnel. Is that perception? Yeah. Yeah. Um, would yeah, that be I perception, or... Yeah. Well, what would it be moment, to, like, city At planning? the moment, you're 
at the moment, you and dr- the driver are trying to figure out where to go through. So someone else might want to do a check of the tunnel yeah. to see how safe it is. Oh yeah, so someone else. Before that, I'm just wondering the. Um, did resistance like our superiors that they gave us any supplies or items at all? I'm not talking about weapons, but I'm talking like about like uh, environmental scanners or uh, something like that. Or are we entirely on our like uh, own in case of in case of gear? Yeah. Um. Yeah, here's the thing is, the Rebels, when you got deployed, you weren't deployed from a Rebel base. You were deployed from where you were kind of, like, sleeper agents somewhere else. You've moved in this direction and, like, gathered up the gear you had. The Rebels have promised you there's a supply drop farther in to the area, and that they can send the coordinates to the uh, car when you get nearby, but they haven't given it to you yet, which is teeny bit shifty. Okay. Uh, there's a promised supply drop somewhere in this war zone. And they've promised some resources, some ammo, some food supplies, as well as a small bit of tech they managed to scrounge up for you. Nice. They, they didn't specify what it was, though. All right. Um, I'll take the rolls I, for sweeping I, the top. Do I roll int or wisdom for perception? Wisdom. Nice. I'm good with that. That's the assist. Yep, I know. That still uh, passes. All right, Lucas. See, see with your special look with your special eyes. Yes, it's a plus one. Yeah. Look with your special eyes. Perception, wisdom, plus one in your extras. We're all helping each other. It's a team, team, teamwork right now. <laughs> this is a conspiracy. Oh my god. Now, Lucas, you're going through like the entrance zones of the tunnel as your as the car itself is coming in. One of the things you find is laid at the very end of it are two big um, grav beacons. The grav beacons are like they're they're kind of like big buffers. So if something gets thrown at them really quickly or a gun was fired at them, they catch it and slowly decelerate it. These two are really big, like, they're maybe a bit larger than the car itself. It looks like they were meant to catch, like, some really big object that came down here. It might just be, like, disaster control, but these things often got used for things like, maybe, like, a grav train, and this is the decelerator for it. So, it's unlikely this thing's still running, but there are these two giant gravitic stabilizers mounted into the inside area. You can't tell if they're powered or not either. They're Wait, just... do you tell us about these things? Because those are really they're... useful. Yeah, they're they're bigger than your car, though. Each one of them. Uh, all right, well... And well, on. once again, like... there's no way to tell at the moment if it's activated or not, because it's a gravitic stabilizer. You don't is there, know until is there a you map... trigger them. Is there a map that I could... Uh... Like, we could just, like, put down this on the map. Like, there's, like, some gravity stuff here in case we need some parts yeah. or something. We yeah, just want to, like... I want to... Yeah. I just say we should probably keep track of that in case... Yeah, exactly, like, exactly. Yeah, let's, let's start turning this into our, our game map, then. It's, so it's going to be... Somewhere in the southeast. Yeah, we're going to be playing fast and loose with this, so don't use it for, like, dead reckoning measurements. Yeah, yeah we're it, just saying, like, just to have it, like, for the actual... For yeah, the actual kinda... rebellion, if they could find a use for it, they may as well, right? Yeah, if, yeah. also, we could find a use for it. Hey, we are we finally still a ship, but it's missing some gravity stuff, you know. Hey, isn't that that old, you know, place that has some gravity stuff for trains? You know, what if we repurpose that a little bit? My yeah. current worry is that they either working on, by some chance, they will start working when we are going through it, which would mean that we might get stopped or something. If, if there's this... If they're this big, they're designed for something like the size of a train or like a giant flood or something. Like if there's a natural disaster, you need a buffer zone to help keep stuff out. I'm if it ask... triggered and caught your car, it could deal some serious damage to the vehicle since hey, it'll just um, be too powerful. That's what right. if we go? What if we go too fast? What if we go fast enough? What if I just like floor it and we go so fast that if we activate it, we pass through it already? Um, I'd like to ask to see if. 
either of the two guys that I don't know very well have any knowledge of, like, post-tech. I mean, this is post-tech, right, DM? Those gravity yeah, things. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, I these like, things are definitely post -tech. start wandering, scratching my... Uh, wait, according to my profile pic, I think I have, yeah, like a, a small goatee. And I'm like, well, I dropped in some post-tech, I'm training it, at least. Well then, can you check to see if those things are on? I can Guys, right, definitely wait. try. Yeah. Just right, I'm going to start playing this on. character like I should. Alright, guys, look. I'm just saying, the simplest plan, and it just starts revving the engine. Just like, just like, pointing forward. Just I like, just like, I just no. pull the keys out of the engine. I'm the just like, no. Nah, I, I swipe well, your if you away. put the keys in the engine, we have different problems right now. <laughs> Well, shut up. Oh, there's. Oh, yeah. I, they're not. They're. Never, <laughs> yeah, don't I, worry, I thought. Don't worry. I thought we were underground. I thought we were underground. God damn guess, it! The simplest options like, you know. will get us killed the fastest. I start getting out with my, with my stuff. As as best as you know, you aren't in a huge rush. Like, there's a chance someone might like end up scavenging your supplies that you're after, but. Okay, so I'm leaving med kit, Lazarus kit, Lazarus patch. Uh, I'm taking woven body armor and survival kit, just in case. And I don't go anywhere, keep an eye out on anybody. Oh, wait a second. Um, right how back. close are we to this? How, how close are we to this? Yeah, you're, there's a blockade right at the entrance. So there's like the, there's like the underground mall's parking lot. And then there's these big, wide, like, disaster doors. They, they're about 50 meters wide total. They've slid back, and they have the red warning lights that are almost out of power, so they're, like, still going, but really slowly and fitfully. Once right. you go walk inside, you can see right up against the walls on either side are these big um, gravitic superconductors that soak up um, kinetic force. You can right. look at them and like examine uh, them, or you can try to find their connector wires to check the I, power running through. I wanna, I wanna use my uh, uh, my manipulation <laughs> using my psychic powers to just like toss like some stone or some brick in there or something to see if it's still active. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me see. What's you're using? Just the tier remote, one remote remote manipulation. Psychic can manipulate any object visible to his unaided vision. <laughs> Uh, as if handling it with one hand. I know, the, I know the drill. Yeah. 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 That's somewhat weak in terms of it. It's like only strength 11 or so is what that's it's higher, like. That's to. higher than my strength. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely tell you if these things are, like, sensitive enough to get triggered at the moment by something that weak. But, like, a human moving fat, like, a human running is like much stronger than that and a car even driving slowly like these sensors might be messed up somehow if their okay. if their trigger parameters have gotten lower they could do some nasty stuff all right well, well then i guess like while we're i, I just want to like test to see if like the small rock will set it off and if it does then like we know that it's, it's pretty sensitive and if it's not and if it is we're, we're far back enough that it won't like fuck us up yeah, so spend the PowerPoints and, or PowerPoint, sorry. Isn't that, isn't that optional? Like, if you can roll and then if you need it, you can, like, add it to, like, increase the power? No, the ability uses a PowerPoint every oh, time. Oh, really? How do I get Mass PowerPoints back? Um, you regen every day. Hmm. Can yeah, I just toss you... a rock? <laughs> can I just toss a rock instead of using my, my psychic abilities yeah. on it, then? There yeah, the reason you'd want to use the psychic ability is, like, start the rock from farther in, but right now there's really no danger. Yeah, just someone give me an athletics check for the toss. Uh, <laughs> I had athletics. Uh, I don't anymore. Yeah, rolling poorly on athletics isn't really going to do much here. It's not you accidentally hit someone with a rock and they take damage. All right, does anyone have good athletics? If not, I'll just roll my negative um, one. I do, I think. All right. No, I don't have it at negative one. Okay, just, just make the roll. Uh, Lucas does. I guess Lucas is going to toss a rock. Cause, hey, uh, just, I'm sitting in the car still. I'm just like, just, just toss a rock in there. <laughs> That'll be fine. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know how to spell the fucking thing. Like, I don't know what the hell the damn no. thing is called. <laughs> you did great. You, you tossed okay, that rock question. in like a boss. Any of you guys have, like, uh, a pair of binoculars or something like that? Uh, no, wait. I'm actually, can I just put this? I'm going to put the car in. There we yeah. go. Good spot. Can you make that, like, a few things bigger? No, the car's about that big. All right. In truth. Yeah. Like, that's, we're, we're going to see each square represents some space. So. All right. Well, here's the car. The yep. FR500. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lucas, you like you go back and pitch the stone. It sails like straight down the line of the escape road. It gets about twenty meters forward when some like invisible force bounces it to the right, and then it gets bounced forward again. After a while, it like you notice it hasn't landed yet. It's just been like kind of looping irregularly into the darkness. As best as you can tell, the gravitic field is on and stable but it's like something's mixed it up and like pushed it all over the place so it's only going to catch you in certain areas you can go through this but to do it safely you'd have to go really slowly so you could check the locations for what's in flux and what's still stable uh does he, like, do you do you pass this on because like if so then i, I think, think we see i'm it, don't we uh, oh, like, if, if, it's not very bright down here, and the escape road is poorly lit. But if anyone's uh, like, in, like, actually cares enough to look, you can see like this rock is getting like thrown through a cyclone. In truth, all right, all right I'm just saying like, think... why don't we like toss some dust up, kick some rocks, so we see where the trail is, and then we just like using that with the headlights on, we just kind of go through the tunnel underground, just like weaving in, seeing where the danger is. The disadvantage is you don't get to just, like, turn on the throttle and just go full speed and run down this eight-mile empty track. You can still run through it, but now you're kind of doing it at, uh, at a walking pace, unfortunately. All right, all right, guys, this this was, it could have worked, but uh, it's a good thing we know where this is. And then he just starts, like, all right, guys. I was just going to say, like, blast. hey, the guy with the tech train, you think you can turn those off? Yeah, that's still an option. My name is oh. Herschel, and I can try. And I started um. going towards that thing because I guess remember this thing might require time, and if we waste checking every fucking mile for.